with Russ Mitchell. And let's begin with the chilling. A local couple is recovering. Coming up, reflections on the news. That is the news this evening. I am Russ Mitchell. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I can't contain it. We are taking a little time out to celebrate our very own Russ Mitchell, his 10 years here at WKYC. Mm. He's humble by nature, can you tell? And he's very complimentary mm. to all of us, trust me. A little me. embarrassed as well. And I'm just Thank gonna you. keep very going. Nice so today, <laughs> we are turning the tables on Russ to share a bit about what makes this guy such a great coworker mm. and incredible friend. Well, he just has such an incredible energy around mentoring. He's actually taught me to speak out, and it's okay to say, hey, can we talk about this? Hey, can we rework this? He's so experienced, and he's so patient. <laughs> he never makes you feel like there's a dumb question in the world, anything you can run by him. In the newsroom, he's just, he's super well respected. He's a force. I mean, he is, he's Russ. You know, he's absent of ego, and in that particular position, a lot of times people get in that chair and they get a certain sense of strength and power, and, and Russ carries the strength and power, but in a very humble way. I think I've learned a lot from watching his leadership style, because he's not always the loudest one in the room. In fact, he very rarely speaks up in those kinds of situations, so when he does, Everyone is listening. I had to be honest, a big reason why I was so excited to come here was for Russ Mitchell. And I think he kind of knows that too. <laughs> I like fangirl over him. <laughs> He's such a movie buff, like Godfather. If you ever are out and about with Russ and you just throw a Godfather line at him, he'll throw back whatever that other line is. I mean, he just knows the movies, he loves them. Um, he's a Star Wars nerd, which I find very hilarious. What you see on air, that's Russ, that's him. Even when this guy is in a sweatshirt and jeans or a ball cap, I mean, he looks presidential, sort of. He's never sloppy, that is just not his style. He loves a nice car, I don't blame him. He loves McDonald's. I need to get to McDonald's. He doesn't love McDonald's. He's gonna kill me for saying this. He doesn't love McDonald's, but he gets a certain thing at McDonald's. Time certainly does fly when you're having fun. And I think that we're having fun still, huh? We're having a lot of fun. Congratulations on that. Many more to come. I mean, thank you for the mentorship that you have provided me, Russ. Thank you for what I've seen you do in the community and in the newsroom. I am so lucky beyond my wildest dreams to sit next to you, but to learn from you and to see how incredible you are. I'm gonna get emotional. Wow, you make me emotional, Russ Mitchell. I am truly honored to get to sit next to you and to learn from you. And like I always say, you stole my line, mamma mia, but mamma mia, when I think about this world and working next to you every day, you're incredible, I adore you, congrats. Yeah, I remember the day you walked into that newsroom. There were a lot of starstruck people and confused people wanting to know why Russ Mitchell, a big time network anchor, would leave New York City and come to Cleveland, Ohio. Well, I knew. You're a Midwestern guy and you were looking for home. And that's exactly what you did here. You made it your home. So brother, congratulations on a decade here in Cleveland. I look forward to getting back to work and uh, starting your next decade with you. And uh, just remember, uh, I got seniority on you. So next year's my 25. You can start planning now. Love you, Russ. Happy anniversary. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to say. That's, really? That is amazing. <laughs> thank you, no. thank Betsy, thank Jimmy, thank Sarah, uh, thank Monica there. Well, we want to thank well. you. You're, oh my gosh, you are, it was something. You are so incredible. And you